is up you guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna give you a very transparent apartment tour of my apartment here in Dubai I've been living here for almost a year now and I've received quite some questions from people wanting to know how expensive it is to rent here in Dubai and in general a lot of questions about how it works when you're renting an apartment so I'll be very transparent very honest and show you everything I get uh, with my rent of $1,200 a month uh, plus about to between two and three hundred dollars a month uh, of utilities and before starting I just wanted to let you know this is slightly below market value I think and uh, in general I am living in an area that is not the most premium uh, place that you can rent in here in Dubai uh, it's called Jumeirah Lake Towers personally I really like it I like it because it's definitely less touristy and uh, also less expensive than areas like Marina and downtown but still it's very very well connected to Marina so in my case I'm even living near the metro and that allows me to literally cross the, the, the big road and be in Marina within 10 minutes walking so I think it's like a great spot if you want to save a little bit in terms of rent while also still being very well connected especially if you don't drive because here in Dubai a lot of uh, areas are just not connected at all and you need a car but that's definitely not the case all right so enough talking let's go downstairs and I'll start showing you the common areas first Something about Dubai condos is that they will always have a gym inside. So it's really great because most people don't even get a gym subscription. I still prefer working out outside and especially in groups of people, but still this is so convenient for whenever I don't have time or I just want to squeeze in a quick workout during the day. And then we have the pool. It's on the first floor, so it's got a little bit of a view even though it's not really high up. Um, but I just love having it because for me reading a book by the pool is just like the ultimate form of self-care <laughs> I never really make time to come here, but that's another story um, But yeah, I just think it's super cool to have it especially in winter Like I still have to like pinch myself when I realize I can go to the beach or swimming in the pool even in December It's just like amazing Now it's time to check the inside Welcome to my crate <laughs> This is the first time that I'm living in an apartment by myself after I moved out of my parents' place because before I've always had flatmates and I was thinking if I had to stay back in Europe actually this wouldn't have been possible because salaries are much lower over there and rents are pretty much the same or even higher in some capital cities. And just a side note on prices, uh, my rent is kind of low also because I signed a yearly contract meaning that I have a pretty high penalty like two months of rent uh, that I have to pay if I want to terminate the contract uh, before the end of the year uh, first thing and second I am paying my rent uh, three months at a time so if you don't want to commit if you're not sure whether you want to stay or maybe you're just here for a short time you can definitely get a monthly contract that doesn't bind you for like longer time the problem is that prices are much higher and even if when you sign it let's say maybe you signed a contract in summer prices seem okay then you always need to ask because landlords will always increase your rent uh, in the winter months because that's high season by the way guys I don't know if I mentioned but this is a one bedroom apartment and I got it fully furnished which kind of saved me a little bit of money when I moved in even though I still ended up spending probably uh, like definitely over thousand uh, dollars for the little things that I had to buy here and there because it wasn't really cozy uh, for example I bought this new rug uh, all the cushions the lamps um, these plants which by the way they are all fake plants <laughs> I know it's not the nicest thing but uh, I'm just so bad at keeping them alive <laughs> I don't know why like last summer I tried uh, with this tiny basil plant and I think it lasted me like three or four days it was so sad but yeah at least it reminded me of why I shouldn't have real plants in my life this is one of my favorite things of the living room it's this big window and I don't know it just gives me these like big city vibes 
<laughs> and by the way this is the marina area so as i was saying like it's just here in front and it only takes me five to ten minutes to to reach there um one of the big perks is having the metro right here also because uh, in dubai there is this really big um road it's called the sheikh zayed road which crosses the entire city from one side to the other so basically the only places where you can go from one side to the other and cross it is where the metro stations are because otherwise there's no way to cross it so that's also one of the reasons why you can really reach marina like in just a couple of minutes and now let's move on to the kitchen Okay, so let's put this here so you can see. And voila, that's the kitchen. <laughs> I would say it's pretty spacious. I personally don't cook, I mainly use it for breakfast, but I think if you want to cook, there's definitely enough space and a lot of cupboards, as you can see. Like, actually, most of them are like kind of empty <laughs> because I don't really have a lot of kitchenware. There is an induction stove, um, an oven. Actually, I only used this one once in my life and I don't want to do it again. I made a disaster um, because guys like there are literally no numbers, no symbols, like just a bunch of these things. Like I don't know how to operate it. We have a microwave here, the water dispenser, which is very practical in Dubai because water from the tap, it's not really good. I wouldn't recommend drinking it. No one drinks it. So you can get a subscription and they just deliver to you these like big bottles and they yeah you can just use that for to drink it's really it's really convenient also every time i'm doing my dishes i get reminded of how pissed i would get when i was sharing with other flatmates uh, when people wouldn't do their dishes or you know l would leave dirty stuff around uh, it just yeah i think that once you start living by yourself and you get used to this it it would be so hard to go back to sharing with other people like i really got used to having my own privacy you know like cleaning in the way that I want, like having the silence I want. I think it, this whole space really helps me to focus, to be productive and just, you know, like even being creative because I feel like I come back home and I feel good, like I'm in a good headspace. And I don't think I've ever had this when I was uh, in other kind of like accommodations with other people and another kind of atmosphere. But yeah, I think it's very personal because I know, for example, other people that are spending the exact same amount that I'm spending and they get like a much nicer apartment, maybe like in the marina on the 60th floor with like a view of the ocean uh, but sharing with a lot of people so it comes down to what you really want what your priorities are um, yeah like it depends what you want to compromise on if you want to compromise on sharing you can definitely get a better apartment with the same budget and now it's time to go to the bedroom personally i really like this room because it's really bright there's a lot of light coming in throughout the day and i would say it's also quite spacious uh maybe even too spacious like i mean i don't really spend time here because i literally just come to sleep and occasionally do some yoga or stretching over here um, so i was thinking i might ask the landlord to get rid of this vanity table here so that maybe i can put a proper like working station maybe i will get a standing desk a walking pad monitor because yeah as, as of now i'm just working from the living room all the time and i think it's kind of like a wasted corner over here one of the things that took me a while to adjust to especially at the beginning was this big window and the white thin curtains because i was used to sleeping in a very black dark room in italy and in the morning here i would be always up at like 6 a.m because the room would be already so bright but yeah it was interesting to see how quickly i adjust to i adjusted to it and now i have no problem sleeping until whenever i want uh, but yeah like every time someone <laughs> visits me they always complain that it's so light in the morning, it's really hard to, to sleep in. These um, drawers, uh, the bedside tables, this vanity table, they were already here. Also, this uh, pretty big closet. Um, yeah, like, I think I really don't need any more space than this. Like, as you can see, like, there's a lot of space. I can also store my suitcase. Still, like, because the room is spacious, I also have the option to keep this um, other stand here so that I can have all the other clothes that I don't want to have in the closet. And last but not least, the 
bathroom. <laughs> to be honest with you, I would say, like the kitchen, this is definitely not the best decor, best design. Um, but I think it's kind of common in Dubai to have a lot of these like old style houses. I mean, obviously there are good ones as well, but it always comes at a price. And considering that actually my rent is I would say below market value. Uh, I really can't complain because at the end of the day, <clears throat> it does the job, it's got the space and the, the things that I need. So yeah, I think I'm just happy with this, even though for the future, yeah, like I wouldn't mind having a bit of a brighter and more modern bathroom, yeah. God, I almost forgot, I want to show you this because it's quite funny, especially for Italians because as you may know, Italians like, we have our B-days and we love it, okay? And it's always quite traumatic when we go abroad and we don't have it. But here in Dubai there's something similar, but I don't know, it's weird. Um, it's basically like a small shower next to the um, next to the toilet. And yeah, it's basically like a B-day, but you do everything while sitting on the toilet. Quite efficient, I would say. And finally, I still have to show you the uh, laundry room. I wouldn't call it a room, but it's just like... <clears throat> A space uh, where I keep all my cleaning supplies. Wait, where's the light? So we have the um, washing machine, which is also a dryer, so the clothes come out already dried, which is really good. Um, especially because I don't have a balcony, so it would be a little bit impractical. And uh, yeah, I just keep all this cleaning stuff here, nothing interesting. All right, I guess I don't have anything else to share. <laughs> this is my apartment, I hope you like it. I know it's not fancy, it's, um, I would say quite simple, quite frugal, but it really uh, works perfectly for me, especially because, I mean, as I said, I'm not paying that much, so I definitely feel very blessed to be living here, and uh, of course, I still have a long way to go in the future, and hopefully I'll be able to upgrade it to something a bit more fancy, we'll see. I really hope this video was useful, especially if you're considering to move to Dubai or you're already looking for apartments over here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them, and, uh, I'll see you in my next video.